as you can see, we have kicked off our day by finally making it to the trail, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. My stomach is queasy coming up the roads and up the mountains. Definitely, definitely took me for a little pause, but it's so beautiful out here. The clouds are kind of starting to clear up, so we're about to start, but I wanna show you all this view real quick. Absolutely beautiful, so. For this walk, we are actually going to have to carry, and Parker's gonna have to walk on her own, so that'll make things a little interesting, but it'll give her some time to kind of get out of her chair and walk, so yeah. let's go ahead and get this kicked off. I've heard quite a bit of people mention the Path of the Lemons as a hiking option here in the Naples area. If you're not familiar with the Path of Lemons, it is a very famous path that connects two popular cities off the Amalfi Coast. In the past, this path was used as the main source of transportation that connected these two cities together before the Italian government created a better road system. But a lot of people still come to the Path of Lemons to hike it. It is super beautiful and it's scenic. And as you can imagine with the name Path of Lemons, it has a ton of lemon trees along the path. I'm a little bit better, yo. Initially when we got here with all the hills and stuff, I was a little nervous that we were in the wrong place, but it's obvious we are in the right place because we are seeing a lot of morning walkers out here doing a nice brisk walk. It is really beautiful and it has not gotten too hot today. So now I feel like I can relax. No! So eventually I'm going to pull out my camera and get Pizza. some you know, pictures. I am trying to learn how to you know, improve my photography. So this is the perfect place to practice. So I think we started like middle of the trail and like went to the end where we're heading towards like the street that goes down to like what you would consider the main parts of the city. So of course we're gonna turn back around. Um, I think we came a tad bit earlier than like peak season because all of the lemon tops are covered, um, which would have made the trail even more beautiful, but it's still beautiful in itself. So we're about to turn around, walk back up all these stairs, and then hopefully we can find the famous notable church that has like a beautiful green top. Um, and hopefully Parker remains somewhat agreeable for us to walk to that church. <laughs> out to the insta 360 and specifically the stick thank god i had my 360 stick and the long one i typically don't bring it with me thank god i did today so we were able to get it from under the stairs oh, this has been an eventful morning now if you're a military spouse who loves to hike and you're interested in coming to the path of lemons keep in mind that to get here it's is about an hour and a half away from support site. Parking is up and down. We were able to find parking not far from the middle starting point of the path, but I would not depend on that. My recommendation is trying to find a parking lot or a parking garage at the bottom of the path. Where is it alive, y'all? When you come out here to Italy, just know, Google Maps can, can be trash sometimes. We just walked up all these stairs, trying to get to the Santa Maria, and this gate is closed. Look at this. This is Google's fault. We can't get through. And look at 
Look at all these stairs we climb. <laughs> you all know we completely went the wrong way this entire time we are currently on the path of lemons right now but where we were earlier was still the path of lemons but i think it was like the tail end of the path of lemons so the main part of the part that is like picturesque we're on now and i really wanted to get some yeah. pictures of the santa maria church but that's not gonna happen y'all because the Santa Maria is like all the way down this hill. That's like another 20 minutes. So they said, if you were here with us, you would think like, nah, that's like a cool hour to get there. So we're gonna keep walking and then we're gonna turn back around. There's this little restaurant that sells like lemon coffee and lemonade and cake. And we're gonna go there. And then maybe come back in the summertime. So, right now all of the lemon trees are covered so i again i think we just came a tad bit early a tad bit early before like all of the lemon trees come out so we came early enough to bypass all the tourists but too early to see all the lemons after all of the walking that we did we were able to find this cute little cafe that was along the path and we stopped to get some lemonade, some lemon cafe, and lemon cake. Everything we had was super, super fresh, and it was really delicious. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And of course, they had beautiful views of the lemon path. So y'all, I will put the name of the little cafe we stopped at somewhere in this video, the Lemon Marmalade delicious i actually bought a small little jar to go but i will say for what we got i feel like they were a little overpriced so keep that in mind but they were a cute little cafe off the trail so i wouldn't be opposed to going back now that i kind of know the prices are gonna hit me over the head but nothing nothing too crazy to break the bank but the marmalade was really really good on top of the cake that was delicious i I wish we had a bigger slice of cake because um, the cake with the marmalade was good. So now let's head back home. <laughs> Well, y'all, we are about to get up out of here. Just wanted to stop and get some beautiful pictures of the ocean. As you all know, summertime is on the horizon, so we will be making several more trips down to the Amalfi Coast. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions about the path of lemons or how to get here or parking, let me know, comment below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video below.